All right, let's look at our future value annuity formula. This formula is F, and that F, of course, stands for the future value. So what will your money be worth in the future? So F is equal to X, bracket 1 plus I to the N, minus 1 over I. Now, when you look in the Mind Action Series textbook, you will find the proof of this formula or the derivation of this formula. It is not for exam purposes, but it's very interesting to go and have a look and see where this formula is coming from. Now, F is my future value. X is my monthly payment that I'm going to make. 1 plus I, I, you know, my interest rate in decimals. N, and that is the very, very important thing to take note of. N is not the number of months like we did in compound interest. Because as you can see here, it was a two-month period, but there were three payments. So N in this problem represents the number of payments. So it is extremely important to remember that the number of payments. So let's see if you now can substitute into this little formula. The same problem what we did. The thousand rand was deposited. Can you see? So the x is 1,000. 1 plus my i, which is 0 0,06. Please remember, this compounding is monthly, so don't forget. Like in compound interest, you must put it over 12. Expo uh, to the exponent of, and what is that? Not the number of months, but the number of payments. How many payments? One, two, three. Three payments minus one over the i, which is 0, 0,06 over 12. So that is what you need to do. You need to know this formula. You need to know when to use it, first of all. You need to write down this formula for your examiners. You do your substitution. And then what you do is you put this whole thing onto your calculator. You don't simplify anything in this step. You just give it to them like this. You put this whole thing at once on your calculator using your fraction buttons. And you write down your final answer. That is what our examiners expect from you. So let's now take the calculator and let's see if this answer corresponds with the previous one. On my Casio calculator, first of all, you can see I've got a fraction, the big fraction. So I'm going to open up my fraction button and I'm going to put the numerator in. So I'm going to say a thousand rand. I'm going to open up a bracket. And I'm going to open up a second bracket for this one. It's very important that you use your brackets here. Then I say 1 plus. I open up the fr another fraction for this one. So I say 0 0.06. My arrow key down, put in the 12. Move away. I close the first bracket. I want to put in the exponent. So I use that button for the exponent. My exponent is 3 number of payments. I move away from the 3 with my arrow key to put the minus 1. And then many people forget that last bracket. And then your calculator will give you an error. It will say it's not possible. And it's because you left out that bracket. You need to close this. So therefore, I close the bracket. Now I move to the denominator, which is also a fraction. So I open up a fraction, 0 0.06. I move down, I put down the 12, I push the equal, and my answer on this calculator is 3015,025. You remember, I told you before it was 025. And of course, we round it off to two decimals. And as you can see, the identical answer to when I used the compound interest. But of course, the compound interest in annuities is a clumsy method. So for future value annuities, we are going to use this particular formula. Let's now look at another problem 
but where there are more payments than the three of this one. Let's discuss this next question.